All right, Jared Elson is up next. He's matching up against Mikey Cicerelli for run number two. Uh, Mikey with the advantage here going into the second run. So, I mean, just look at the crazy backdrop these riders have. This is going to be a great showing. Jared, now he has the intel from run number one and kind of like let it breathe a little bit. I think the advantage went to Cicerelli because he did a bigger, smoother 360, whereas Jared did two sort of more smaller, conservative threes. Oops, straight up and over, back flip, so changing up his line a little bit. Straight off the nose here. Little Super Mario bounce down into the gully. It just seems like, you know, once you kind of stay on that aspect that has the shadow, the snow is infinitely better than it was from where Travis went over and got buckled. Yeah, and that's what I was wondering kind of watching the first runs. Um, it seems like a lot of the riders are uh, kind of staying in, in certain zones. And uh, I was wondering why they weren't spreading out a little more. But yeah. I think it's because they, they probably talked a little bit and came to, a, you know, a group consensus that those are maybe the spots that have the better snow. And Pat, you were saying too, is like, look, the judges are gonna mark you off if you're not risking it by going into untapped terrain as well. 